I'll tell another animal story. The story of the turtle family. Families are very important. It's a story about daddy turtle, my turtle, and little turtle. Daddy turtle and mommy turtle had an invitation to go to Uncle Hobo's 150th birthday. You know, turtles live long. So, Daddy Turtle and Mommy Turtle, before they left Shell Beach to go out on the reef to have this 150th birthday party, they told Little Turtle, please stay here. We'll be going for a day. We'll be back. So, we want to see you when we get back. We want to see you safe and sound. And so, Daddy Turtle and Mommy Turtle plunged into the Atlantic <coughs> to swim out to the brief to have a wonderful birthday with Uncle Hobo. And Little Turtle says, Bye-bye, Mommy! Bye-bye, Daddy! Come back soon! And with Daddy Turtle and Mommy Turtle away. And they went off to Uncle Hobo's party. Meanwhile, Little Turtle decided, why did they take me? And so, he said, I will go to the party. I will sneak in and mommy and daddy wouldn't see me. I would have a good time. I would leave before them and I'd get back to the beach and they wouldn't know. So, Little Turtle, plunged into the Atlantic and he battled out and he got lost. The thunder came, the lightning came, the rains came, the waves began to get rough and rougher. A little turtle was tossed right and left. He didn't know where he was, save and except that he was lost as he swam and swam and swam and he got giddy he was going in circles then the storm abated a bit and then he saw a, tra a trailer and he waved at the captain he waved at the crew help me please help me please the captain came and looked out over the edge of the trawler Hey! That's, that's Little Turtle. What are you doing here out in the ocean? I was going to Uncle Hobo on the reef. It's his 150th birthday, but the storm came and I'm lost. Please help me, please. And so they let the net down and they pull up Little Turtle. And they said, where are you living? Oh, I'm living on Shell Beach. Please take me back home. And so the captain and the crew of the trawler took Little Turtle back. But surprisingly, Mommy Turtle and Daddy Turtle had already reached home and looking for Little Turtle. When he finally got to them, where were you? Weren't you supposed to be here? We told you not to go. You disobeyed us. Where were you? Um, Mom, Dad, I, I was going to Uncle Hobo's party. Going to Uncle Hobo's party? We told you not to go anywhere. Well, I thought I could have gotten there and back, but sadly, the storm came and I got lost. But some very good fishermen, they got me up on the trawl and they brought me back. Now, 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 you will have to be punished. My dear friends, what punishment do you think Little Turtle should have for disobeying his parents? Any ideas? Yes, you, your parents, most of you, or even if you're a nun, you, 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 you looked after children. What punishment should Little Turtle have for being disobedient? Throw a party at Uncle Turtle. Throw a 
birthday party at home. Okay. Anybody else? Another? What should? Uh, this is this is a bit of research I'm doing at this point of my story. Yes. Make some turtle soup. Make some turtle soup. What a suggestion! So that's a story which came from the Amerindians of Guyana, uh, and the story too that I told before is also from our first peoples.